Subnautica. Um, I'm on the latest dev build, so that's something, but um, this is my super, super duper, semi-legit base. Actually, you see the same. Like I said, it's only semi-legit. Mostly because I am. Uh, Welcome to the board, Captain. The, the way I got power here. Power restored. Uh, fuck. All primary systems online. All integrity restored. Training systems initiated. Moon pools, moon pools. I got four of these bad boys. God damn it. Oh. All integrity restored. Training systems initiated. Where's the one that has my goddamn Seamoth docked? I don't remember what biome this is. Uh, Grand Reef, I think this is actually. This is actually there's an inactive lava biome all the way over there. I think this room is about this stuff. Oh damn! Well, that's not good. This is not good at all. Really bad. I need to add some reinforcement modules, but I'm out of materials. Rip. What the hell's going on? Oh fuck. This is my seaman fully dock charging station. Though I don't like the colors. Let's change the colors. Like fucking red. Let's see, it's a. Alright, let's get in. All systems online. That base is actually going to sink, from what I can see. That's nice. The game has the creepiest fucking atmosphere. Emergency. Severe dehydration detected. Seek Look at this. Fluid and take immediately. This is the SS Cuckle. Look at that. Look at that ship. Cuckolding to the max. Don't hit anything, I'll get a warning. Welcome aboard, Captain. This thing's gonna run out of power too. That is a floating island, I believe it's called the floating island. I'm not really sure if I remember. But Caution. I know those are big floaters. Passing safe death. And the island is held up by the floaters. Caution. Blood nutrient levels decreasing. Calorie intake recommended. Jesus, I'm moving so goddamn slow. textures. As of right now, I believe this is the only landmass in the game. Let's see if we can get to it. Oh my 
god, dude, the flash that makes it even creepier. These are noises that you wouldn't hear at night, but alright. I'm opted for the experimental. They're, they keep adding a lot of stuff all the time. Which is really cool because I've never, like, honestly, I, I've never seen a developer that for an early access game is releasing new stuff like they What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh god. Oh, I'm spawning in water. Vital signs stabilizing. Oh, there we go. What? Well, now I'm stuck. The but um, anyway, like the Seamoth upgrade console that w was allowed me to change the color of my Seamoth as well as the uh, name was just added like yesterday. So that's cool. I, I mean, I get to see new changes and whatnot every day. There's also a website you can visit, uh, which I'll put in the description, to allow you to check on these uh, new features. But what I don't see um, on this island here is anything useful other than, I believe actually from what I read that you can get 200% solar power efficiency up here. As you're on the surface, I guess I'll dead. Let's try it out. Alright, uh, this nuclear reactor. This nuclear reactor doesn't even work. Or, uh, I don't believe it's skinned or anything yet. Yeah, it's just a basic. But, uh, you know. Nonetheless, I picked up the blueprint. You have to put in a piece of uranium. See, and it gives you power. Cool, huh? Let's see, even at this time of day, let's see what the, the efficiency is. Okay, so, looks like we get 100% solar panel. Whoa, we're going over 100%. Because we're on the surface, I guess. I, it seems to me that the night isn't as long as the day, or maybe they're just... Maybe they're just both not really long at all. Still, you know, it's a really beautiful game. Though. You look at, um, you look at what's in, like the water. You just look at all you can see is the top of the water. Amazing, what's really down there? There's so much down there to explore. It was all put together really well. It's just the only thing I think that's kind of disappointing about the game. I, I don't know. It might upset me because. Uh, the game isn't going to be um, randomly generated or anything. It's all handmade. So what is created will look good, but the game won't have, you know, won't have a lot to explore. And for a game that's so reliant on uh, exploration, you know, it's kind of sad to see that you're only allowed to explore. I think they're going to allow three kilometers in every direction. You know, which is only so much. I wonder if I spawn a Reaper Leviathan. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. Uh, does it go into the water? Oh, it just ran into my stasis. And I'm dead. What? Uh, no fall damage, I guess. None at all. No fall damage.
Anyway, this floating island is just beautiful. I hope they had more land masses like this or more floating islands. Or maybe someday uh, build an RNG system to generate a lot more variety in the game. Uh, it would seem that the Reaper is actually going into the water. Yeah. Alright. At least the game knows better than to allow the creatures to come out of the water. Oh! Okay. I would like to see some, um, like flaps and whatnot, or when you hit the surface, makes water splashes and whatnot. What? <laughs> So just keep keep an eye. Honestly, this game is worth buying just because of all the new stuff that there is, and it's got a very vari uh, varied underwater setting. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna do more videos on it. Uh, big fan of the game. I've played probably uh, 80 to 90 hours of it, which I know isn't that much, but so far it's not bad. Um, I just picked it up actually, like last week. Or not even last week, a few days ago. So, yeah, I've kept, kept track of so much stuff that they've changed. And made. Uh, it's just, I think it's the best underwater game. And it's worth it because, it's worth it to buy because the developers release new stuff all the time. So you gotta keep track of the game as it progresses. Just last week they released underwater, or, yeah, underwater bases, so yeah, that's something. Well, yeah, anyway, I'll put in the description the uh, link to view it. So I'll just take a look at it. Alright.